Ever wondered how to maintain water quality in your crayfish pond? A common query among aquarists, and the answer is surprisingly simple. It's all about the effective use of filters. These incredible devices are more than just tools, they are a lifeline for your water inhabitants, especially for species like crayfish. Filters you see, play an indispensable role in sustaining the water conditions of your crayfish pond. They act as a vigilant guardian, meticulously screening the water for any unwanted elements, they tirelessly work to remove excess waste, uneaten food particles, dead plant matter, and various other types of debris that can find their way into your crayfish pond. Much like a diligent janitor, they prime the water environment for your crayfish. Over time, if these undesirable elements are left unaddressed, they can seriously deteriorate the water conditions. This degradation can lead to a host of problems, beginning with clouded water and escalating to hazardous living conditions. Now, Imagine the stress this can cause your crayfish. It can significantly impede their growth, lower their metabolic rate, and even increase their susceptibility to various diseases. The reality of the situation is that the absence of a capable filter can put your crayfish in jeopardy. So the importance of investing in a proper filtration system cannot be overstated. It's not just an optional addition to your pond, but a fundamental necessity for ensuring the health and well-being of your crayfish. So. You see, investing in proper filtration is not just an option, but a necessity for the health and well-being of your crayfish. But you might ask, what if I can't get a ready-made filter? Or what if I want to save some bucks? Don't worry, we've got you covered. In the world we live in today, creativity and resourcefulness are your best allies. So if you find yourself unable to procure a pre-made filter, or you are simply looking for a way to be a little more frugal, we can guide you on a journey of do-it-yourself. Our world is filled with less expensive alternatives, and includes creating your own filters. As you navigate through this process, you'll discover the wonder of crafting, the joy of using something you made with your own hands, and the satisfaction of saving a few extra dollars. And not to forget, this could be a fantastic opportunity to unleash your creativity and learn something new along the way. So get started and explore these fun and effective DIY options you can try out at home to make your own filters. Let's dive into some of these options. One simple option is a sponge filter. This method, widely used and preferred by many, requires just a few simple materials. A sponge, an air pump, and a piece of airline. The sponge, a highly absorbent material, plays a crucial role in this filtering process. An air pump, another essential piece of equipment, helps in creating suction, a vital process. Lastly, airline tubing, a flexible and durable material, is used to connect the and the air pump. So, the question is, how do we go about it? First, carefully cut a circular or rectangular hole the sponge using a sharp knife. Make sure the hole is deep enough to insert the airline tubing, but not too large to ensure a snug fit. Next, securely insert the airline tubing into the hole you've made. Then, connect the other end of the airline tubing to your air pump. This connection can be made quickly and effectively if you have compatible parts. Once done, you'll have sponge filter ready to be placed in the pond. Place the sponge filter in the desired location within the pond. The air pump, once switched on, will create a suction effect. This suction causes water to flow through the sponge. As the water passes through the sponge, any debris, including leaves, twigs, and algae, gets trapped within its pores, leaving the water clear and clean. This simple process might seem complex at first, but with a bit of practice it becomes much more comfortable. It's the elegance of its simplicity and the fact that it's a do-it-yourself, cost-effective technique that makes it a popular choice among many. Simple, isn't it? Another DIY option is a gravel filter. To construct this, you will need a few basic materials that are readily available. Start off with a plastic container, preferably one that is durable and of a decent size. Next, you'll need gravel. This can be purchased in various sizes and types from your local home improvement store or garden center. It's essential to choose a type of gravel that is large enough to trap debris not so large as to block the flow of water. Thirdly, you will require a submersible pump. These can be found in the aquarium section of most pet stores. They are designed to work underwater and can move significant amounts of water. To assemble your gravel filter, begin by filling your container with a generous amount of gravel. Following this, position the submersible pump at the bottom of the container crucial to ensure that the pump is entirely submerged in the gravel to prevent any damage. To finish off, place a mesh screen on top of your gravel-filled container. 
This will not only prevent debris from entering your filter but also keep the gravel contained. The water is pumped through the gravel, trapping the debris and returning clean water to the pond. Lastly, you can create a DIY canister filter using a large plastic bottle, filter media, and a submersible pump. This makeshift filter can prove to be a cost-effective and efficient method of maintaining clean water. Start by carefully cutting the plastic bottle in half. It's important to ensure that the cut is clean and straight to avoid any leakage or spillage. Once you've done that, proceed fill the bottom half of the plastic bottle with filter media. There are various types of filter media you can use, ranging from ceramic rings, activated carbon to bio balls. These materials are specifically designed to trap and capture waste, debris, and harmful bacteria. After you've filled the bottom half with the media of your choice, it's time to place the submersible pump inside. The This Pump will serve as the powerhouse of your DIY filter, ensuring the water keeps circulating. As water is drawn into the canister, it passes through the filter media, removing impurities. This simple yet innovative design not only improves the water quality, but also contributes to the overall health of aquatic life. To summarize, the application of filters in crayfish ponds is critical for preserving water purity and guaranteeing the vitality of your crayfish. By utilizing these straightforward DIY alternatives, you can assemble highly efficient filtration systems that will ensure your pond remains clean and your crayfish flourish. Filters are much more than an accessory, they are an integral part of successful crayfish farming. They help maintain ecological balance, regulating chemical levels, and removing harmful substances, providing a safe and healthy habitat for crayfish to grow. Filters also prevent the accumulation of waste materials, thus eliminating bad odors and potential disease outbreaks. The use of these DIY filters is not just easy on your pocket, but also allows to understand and control the pond's environment better. They need regular maintenance, so it's crucial to clean them regularly to ensure optimal functioning. The basic materials needed for these DIY filters are often household items, making it an accessible and cost-effective solution. In conclusion, Filters are not just about preserving the aesthetic appeal of the pond, their role is far more they contribute to the overall health and success of your crayfish farming endeavors. Therefore, the importance of using filters cannot be overstated. Now all you need to do is gear up and implement your newfound knowledge about DIY filters. Remember, a clean pond is a happy pond, and happy crayfish means successful crayfish farming. So get out there and start filtering.